Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, have you ever wondered that it's January, what can I plant or what can I grow in January? Well, there's a lot you can do in January. You can start your cuttings in January, you can start your seedlings in January, and there's certain plants you can even trek so outside in January too. So let's get started. Now there's certain plants you can grow from hardwood cuttings in winter. Now you can take these hardwood cuttings in November and December too, but Taking cuttings from these plants in January actually gives you a better success rate because the sunlight hours are increasing, the warmth is increasing, and the winter is trying to fade away. It's very easy to grow grapes, raspberries, and blackberries from cuttings. Just take cuttings of the plants, peel off bottom one inch of the stem, and then plant it directly into a pot in your potting soil. And these cuttings will start to root in about a month or two. I have a separate video on 15 plants you can grow from cuttings, so check that out if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description. Next, you can start growing your seeds indoors and start growing your seedlings. Now, the best plants to start in January are kale, peas, Swiss chard, collard greens. You can also start seedlings of cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage as well indoors and plant them outside in about two to three weeks after the seedlings develop. However, if you're a beginner, I will refrain from growing these plants because they're susceptible to pests a lot and pests love these plants. So if you're an experienced gardener, go for it. As a beginner garden, I will say stick to peas, kales, and Swiss chard. Remember, these plants are frost hardy. However, in order to germinate, they still need optimal condition, about 70 degree Fahrenheit temperature, which is about 21 degrees Celsius. So always start them indoor first, and then when the seedlings develop, plant them outside. If you're in zone eight and above, you can just plant these seedlings outside by the end of January. However, if you're in zone seven and below, you can plant these in a hoop house or a coal frame. I have a separate video on five makeshift greenhouses or coal frames you can construct. So check that out if you're interested. Now, when you're starting your seeds, you have to know what kind of conditions provide the best germination for seeds. And those three things are warmth, light, and humidity. If you provide these three things, your seedlings will grow just fine and you can have above 95% germination rate. For heat, I use heat mats. I place them underneath my trays and they keep my plants warm. For light, I just place my trays right next to a window or you can use grow lights as well. For humidity, make sure you keep your trays watered. You can even use a clear dome as well. What I do is I get a tray and a dome like this one. This helps to create humidity for the seeds to germinate. What I really like to do is use a spinach container like this one. Check out how much humidity is in this container. I made a separate video on how you can use this spinach container to grow your own seeds and create a lot of humidity for seeds to grow. I always have trouble growing lettuce, but when I grow lettuce in these containers and maintain humidity, I have a very high germination rate. After you grow plants in these containers, you can use a bulb planter to scoop up the seeds and plant in your garden. And don't forget, you can keep growing microgreens and sprouts all throughout the winter as well. I have a separate video on growing microgreens and sprouts too. Now for direct sowing, if you're in zone eight and above, you can directly sow root vegetables such as carrots, turnips, beets, and radishes directly into your ground and they will start to grow. Now let me share a really neat trick to start root vegetables, especially carrots. Now I have a bed here and I top this bed with a layer of coconut coir. Now coconut coir absorbs moisture really well and these root vegetable seeds, you have to plant them very shallow, up to about half to a quarter of an inch deep and they can dry out very quickly. So I have this layer of coconut coir right on top and I make a little bit of a trench to make my rows and then I plant my seeds there. I cover it back with coconut coir and then water thoroughly. And then I place a piece of cardboard and wear it down with bricks and I keep it like that for at least two days and then I remove the cardboard. And the purpose behind this is similar to growing microgreens. You want to maintain the moisture, humidity, and also encourage roots to grow deeper. And weighing the seeds down for the first two days does that exactly. Now for zone seven and below, you have to make sure your ground is free of snow and your soil is not frozen. And then you can clear up an area in your garden, even have a hoop house and start growing carrots as well. You can also directly plant garlic cloves outside in January as well in zone 8 and above and also in zone 7 and below with some sort of a hoop house or a cold frame. Now a single mistake a lot of gardeners make is not growing the correct vegetable in the correct time of the year. Now there are certain vegetables that are really cold hardy. I made a separate video on 10 frost resistant vegetables you can grow in winter so check that out if you're interested. And I also have videos on what you can grow in spring and summer as well so check those out too. So you have to know what grows well in which part of the year and nature will take care of the rest. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.